I'm back, bitches. <laughs> okay, anyways, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this look with the subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And let me just tell you guys, um, I'm tired of the red and all those colors for Christmas, so I'm gonna be using blues and green undertones. So keep watching, and I hope you guys like this video. Okay, guys, we're gonna be starting off with the shade Dawn, which is the second one on the palette. And we're going to be using a blending brush to be applying it all over our lid. And also, you guys, I recommend you guys um, bake under your eyes because those shadows are pretty powdery. You guys will see right now whenever I tap the X's off, you can see when it flies all over the place. So be careful with that or, or it can make a total mess on your foundation when we're using the blues. The second eyeshadow I'm going to be using is called Destiny, which is the third one on the first row right there. It's like a forest green. And we're going to be applying that all over our crease. It's okay if you get it on your um, lower lid because we're either way going to go in with a different color under. So it's totally fine if you make a little bit of a mess. I had totally forgotten to apply my powder. <laughs> during my video you guys so I applied the Laura Mercier loose powder under my eyes just so that I wouldn't make a mess just in case you guys wanted to know which powder I was using the third eyeshadow is gonna be untamed it's the fifth one on the second row of the palette right there and we're gonna be applying that only on our crease please you guys do not go any higher than that you will fuck up the makeup look you do not want to look like the bartender from freaking Shrek Anyway, so just continue to blend the crap out of it because honestly these blues are horrible to work with So just blend it until your fucking fingers bleed, you know, what the hell The fourth eyeshadow we're going to be using is going to be Axis, if, if that's how you pronounce it. It's the blue one at the end of the first row. And we're going to be applying that on our crease and the outer corner. And make sure you blend it really well because this blue is very, very pigmented. And it, it, yeah. <laughs> it loses a lot of powder, so just make sure that loose powder you have under your eye is ready to catch it because they make a mess. After all the blending, we're going to be applying the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's in the shade Light Sand. And we're going to be applying that on our lid. It's supposed to be sort of like a cut crease. So carefully use a concealer brush and start drawing your way in there. The trick to doing a good cut crease, you guys, when you use your brush, make sure you pull down. Look at how I do it slowly when I pull down. It's way easier to do it that way than if you drag it along your lid. If you drag it along your lid, you're going to get some above the crease and you're going to mess up your whole makeup. It wasn't as easy for me as it is during this video to do a cut crease. I was not able to do this before. But then again, practice makes perfect. And honestly, you guys, I was talking on the phone while I was filming. So it did not. it was not easy at all to get to this level to be able to do that. Um, so just don't give up. Just keep watching YouTube videos. That's what I did just to figure out a couple of tricks Not everybody learns the same, but this is the way I do it Anywho, this is only gonna be a half cut crease you guys. I'm not gonna take this all over the lid I just wanted the gold to actually pop out a lot and stand out You guys will see what I'm talking about by the end of the video
Next, we're going to be using a blending brush just so that we can um, get rid of the harsh lines from the concealer and also so the eyeshadow can look a little bit more smoky. The next color we're going to be using is called Adorn and it's the fourth shade on the first row of the palette. That one right there. And it's kind of like a, a gold like a, with the brown undertone. It's not on the copper side so it's more like more like brown. Um, we're gonna apply that where we applied our concealer carefully with a flat brush. I'm gonna be using my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray just so I can intensify the pigmentation of that color. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my brush like that. And we're gonna go ahead and apply it on our lid. A tip for applying shimmery colors, you guys. Um, you see how I keep grabbing more and more product? You need to use your finger to get the best pigmentation. The only problem was that my nails are too long, so I was using a brush, but you guys can use your finger and you will not need a setting spray. Make sure you blend the gold with the blue using the same brush you used before on your lid, um, just so that it can blend in together and it doesn't look like it's just marked. Now that we're done with the eyeshadow, we can go ahead and wipe off the loose powder that we have under our eyes using a fan brush. Next, we're going to be applying eyeliner. I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Liner. You can get this at Ulta. It's actually very affordable and it's very easy to use. I highly recommend it to you guys. Next, I'm going to be applying my eyelashes. These are velour lashes. They actually came out pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what the name is, but I actually like them. I've purchased a couple of them before, but I highly recommend that brand. I think they're actually pretty good for what they cost. Next, with the small brush, I'm going to be applying the eyeshadow axis on my lower lash line just to complete the look. Also, don't ever forget your lower lash line, no matter how small they are. Um, apply a little bit of mascara just so that it can make your eye pop a little bit more. Next, I'm going to be using the highlighting and bronzing palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here um, on the second row, the third one. I'm going to be using that bronzer to apply under my cheekbone. Next, I'm going to be applying this gold highlighter right here. It's the second one on the bottom row. And I'm going to apply that lightly on my cheekbones just so I can have a little bit of a glow. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Beauty 69. You can get this at a CVS. It's a drugstore lipstick. Um, it actually is very inexpensive. 
and it goes with a lot of skin tones so i highly recommend this lipstick So this is the final look. I hope you guys like this video. I know a lot of people get tired of the red lipstick and all of that for Christmas. So I decided to go with this blue and gold. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and also follow me on my Instagram down below. Thank you for watching. Right now, I need a miracle. Hurry up now, I need a miracle. Stranded, reaching out. I call your name